Okay, guys, breaking news. Mitchell Trubisky supposedly is healthy. So either he got a miraculous blessing from God to be healthy, or the Chicago Bears did something wrong, and I don't want to say anything, and made the mistake by benching Mitch Trubisky. You want proof? Here's proof. So it wasn't that either. It wasn't that bad how it was, or the Chicago Bears are just feeding us BS and faking it out. That Matt Nagy made a wrong decision by benching Trubisky and putting in Chase Daniel. We had no freaking clue what the heck was going on. You could even see him. He's like listening to whatever's on the headset, not paying attention while Trubisky is talking or being whispered by Matt Nagy and Trubisky looks like he's in tears crying. Now it could be that Trubisky is frustrated how the offense is going because he showed up that game. The offense did not accept Tariq Cohen had that beautiful pass. There were a couple passes batted away from the defense. I'll give credit to that. Anthony Miller had an easy touchdown. And, uh, Pinero, Eddie Pinero missed two field goals. Now, what would have happened if Pinero kicked the two field goals and then also that Anthony Miller got that touchdown, including with Tariq Cohen? Bears won the game. Suppose that. So, this is very frustrating. Um, as a fan, I'm glad that Mitch Pisky is fine. That's not the issue that I have with him. The issue I have is the Bears either A, they're not being clean about it and have a um, kind of a sheepish way of doing it or he was injured but it wasn't that bad and it re re elevated it it could just be that I don't know I'm not the team doctor I'm not a medical doctor but for them to pull him out mysteriously and then say announce that he got an injury and then go and you put in Chase Daniel which sucked he didn't do pretty good at all he sucks so they have to rely on Mitch Trubisky anyways I, don't, I really, to be honest with you, and I, I know I'm going to get like a bunch of hate messages, I honestly think Mitch Trubisky is not the real issue. It's the play calling, it's the offensive line, and no one else is showing up except Allen Robinson and Tariq Cohen. That's it. I mean, McGarmory had a good game. A couple of games ago, he had a 100-yard game, and they lost that game. So, I, I don't know what to tell you. Um... Who do we play? The Giants? We'll beat the Giants. Let's see. So that's what's going on. Like and subscribe.